Hello, trading has closed on October 8th, 2018. We said over the weekend the most likely thing was a gap and a quick move outside the day's range. It was obvious before the open that wasn't going to happen. We um, said the next most likely thing was we close a little change. That worked. And when you close a little change like this, if you don't close a little change again tomorrow, Next most likely thing for tomorrow was a big move. Now we made a guess. The guess was that in the overnight session, we dropped down, hit the equivalent of this target, um, which we hit pretty much on the nose here, I think, within a few cents, rally, and then reverse it quickly. Well, it happened in regular trading hours, not overnight, but as my teacher used to say to me, you'll get some credit. Anyway, here's your support. Here's your resistance. We did get the pattern with the early low. This is called a split point. Just take half the time between these lows. You'll see all the times work out. Tomorrow's pattern is the one with the early high. It tends to rally into the close tends to be positive, but if it drops, it drops in a straight line. Time's pretty much close to the times here. During the day, me, J, T, me, J, T, see, we got a buy signal, ultimate buy signal. This usually isn't enough. Almost always we trade higher. We did here and then reverse. So this is a me, J, T resistance level. Me, J, T says this rally is not for keeps says we'll return to 2870.75 most likely by tomorrow and that's my call that's quite a drop remember though if we gap up smartly that's probably out of reach otherwise that's my call um so tomorrow we look for a pattern whose times are similar to this one Usually it's positive, but if it's negative, it drops in a straight line. Here's the target. Gapping up smartly puts it out of reach. Doesn't mean it won't print, just means I'm no longer predicting it. And that's today's call.